Rock Beach, yeah, fella, I'll rock you. With Rick Rock Beach, yeah, fella, I'll rock you. With Rick, 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 Hold it down for the bay, hold it down, hold it, hold it down for the bay, reppin' Oakland. If it wasn't for that granddaddy smoking at the club, I shake my ass. At the party, I shake my ass. At the function, I shake my ass. 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 At the club, I shake my ass. At the party, I shake my ass. At the function, I shake my ass. At the function, I shake my ass. I shake my ass. I shake my ass. I go on and on. Can't understand how I last so long. I must have superpowers, rap 225,000 hours. <laughs> Get a calculator, do the math. I made a the songs that made you move your ass. The songs that made you move your ass. The songs that made you move your ass. Move your ass, move your ass. I made a Starring in the Friday movies, the Rush Hour movies, man. How are you feeling tonight? Who are you rooting for? Man, I feel great, man. It was two great teams. I know a lot of players on both sides. So, I, you know, um, I'm happy for Toronto. Love Golden State. They're already champions. But I'm happy for Toronto. First time being champions. Uh, it was just a great night. I'm glad to be here, man. Last year at the Oracle. 47 years. History, man. It's just awesome. Hey, I really appreciate your time, man. Anything you want to say to NBA fans or Warrior fans watching their team for the last time in Oakland? They're moving to San Francisco over the bridge, but like... Any, any, any words? Watch the, watch the NBA uh, award show. I'll be on there. Awesome. Got some shows coming out. Uh, uh, come on, I'm going to be on tour. Come out to the shows. We're going to have some fun. Definitely, some man. Stand up. Hey, bro. God bless you, Honestly, man. bro. Thank Love you. the Rush Hour movie. Anything you want to say? Anything. Come on, lead down. <laughs> no, Damn. Damn. Ontario, repping the 905, baby. Repping the 905, baby. Oh, Mississauga, Ontario, baby. So Honestly, nice. I have to say straight up. Those are the nicest fans I have ever met. We were cheering our hearts out. We didn't give a crap. And they never said boo. They were so nice. They cheered with us. They said, good game. Where'd you guys come from? I was shocked, dude. I was shocked. You walk into Oakland, you're like, welcome to Oakland, bitch. But like, no, for real. They were the nicest people. I'm touched by the culture here. Man. How do you feel right now? Let out your emotions right now. The ah! I can barely talk right now. Oh my God, it was all a dream. Ow! Seriously, right, man. I was like six years old when Joe Carter hit that walk off, man. We ain't done nothing since then. Oh my God. That's awesome, man. So who's your favorite Raptor of all time? Vince Carter. Vince Carter? Okay, for sure. Vince for Carter. Sure. So what do you think about the whole Kauai culture in Toronto right now? Do you think he's the greatest Everybody's Raptor? Everybody's stone cold, dude. Silent killers. All of them. They're all silent killers, man. Kawhi Leonard is the man. Do you dude. think he's staying after this ring? It doesn't matter. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. matter. I would love if he stayed, but I also want him to be happy. He gave us everything in one year. Dog, you do what you want. We love you forever. That's Damn. awesome. Thank you, bro. I appreciate your time. Respect, respect, Congratulations. Bro. All right, guys. So how long have you been Warriors fans? All my life. All your life? Forever. Okay, so this was the last game at Oracle. Were you guys inside the stadium this, this game? Yes. Yeah? How was the energy inside? Oh, it was amazing. It was beautiful. We knew that we had it. We had it. We were right there. But, you know, taking an extra loss of play, but... 
we still rallied through and we were right there with it definitely what, what were your thoughts going inside the culture and, and the environment it was just electric i mean the most amazing part was when clay came back and shot his two free throws wow so obviously needs help up danny green's just trying to block that shot that that as you said jeff is not a dirty play and soon he's out for the rest of the game So that when you take a foul, as you see Clay in the back, he was walking to the locker room and then somebody yelled something. He turns around to shoot the free throws. Then you can take him out, obviously. Clay, Clay Thompson was headed back to the locker room but then turned around and limped back out on the floor and it's what Jeff you said on a personal foul as Danny Green shows some sportsmanship there didn't have to use the restroom <laughs> and he hits the free throw you can still see him dragging that right leg a little bit to go back and play zone to me, I'm committed. As you guys mentioned, Clay got injured tonight. Um, KD came back from an injury and got injured again, unfortunately. What do you guys think about a healthy Warriors roster? Do you think they had a better chance about beating the, Warriors, or the Raptors? For sure. Um, even if we were down men, down, down, down men, we still came back and rallied. So that goes to show how much um, power we have. It just was like one too many people gone. What about you? It's we're going to come back next year. Definitely. I'm looking forward to that. We're going to have new energy. We're going to be in San Francisco, unfortunately, or fortunately. Who knows? Yeah. Um, so it'll be new energy. I hope that we get KD back. Please, KD, come back. Please, Clay, come back. We need you both. We need everyone on our on our team. So. What's your favorite memory at Oracle of all time? Oh, of all time. It's hard to say. Um, I know we went to the final game here um, in April, and that was amazing. But um, all games leading up to us being this amazing, actually, um, is there's not one that I could pick. <laughs> sure. What about you? You have any memories out here? I don't know. Run TMC. I mean, okay, okay. Chris Mullen, Tim Hardaway. That's awesome. Hardaway, That's awesome. Like, yeah, we, believe. we believe. I love that. I love that. What's good, baby? It's halftime, man. You already know the drill. Follow me on Snapchat real quick. Take a picture of the snap code. It's on the picture right now. Do it. Also, make sure to follow me on Instagram right now. And follow me on Twitter. It's the same at. But I want to give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, Ad Motor, man. They sent me a Moden M160 electric bike. This thing has super fat tires, so it makes getting off curbs and turning really smooth and easy. It's an electric bike, so you literally just plug it into a socket and plug it into the bike. It takes around four to five hours to charge the bike fully, depending on the status of the battery. And there's five settings on the bike. The first one being assisted pedal. So when you pedal, you get a little bit of an electric push. And then two, three, four, and five just have increased speed and acceleration. And my favorite feature about this bike, it's foldable, it's adjustable, it's custom to how you want it. And you could travel with it because it folds in half and it gets really small to put into your trunk. And I've been taking it everywhere. The ride is really smooth and it's super reliable because you know how far you're gonna get and how long it's gonna take you. The range on this thing on a full battery is around 50 miles. So that's a lot to get you anywhere. And honestly, it's just a fun way to commute. I've been loving it. So make sure to check out the link in the description. Shout out to Ad Motor for making my life way easier getting around town, running errands and doing whatever I have to do. So again, shout out to Ad Motor and check that link in the description, baby. But let's get back to the episode, shall we? A healthy roster, we for sure would have won. For sure. Not only would we have won, we would have had our parade and everything else that we were supposed to have this year. Unfortunately, Toronto was the better team, but we get them again next year. Exactly. What about sure. Yeah. Okay, for sure. So, what player stuck out to you? Any team? Who who impressed you the most this series? I like Draymond. I think if uh, we would have got the 
the championship ring, Draymond would have been MVP. For sure. What about you? Yeah, Clay. Clay, Clay. man. Yeah. Sure. Are you guys looking forward to the culture in San Francisco? They're going to Chase Center next season. What are your thoughts? I will be there for the opening game, but I don't know about the rest of the All season. Right. I'll tell you that That's for awesome. sure. I respect <laughs> that. I respect yeah. that. We support them. We still support them. Same thing, same thing. Okay, so who's your favorite warrior on the team of all time? Any any season? Any season? Yeah, any season. Tell him, man. Tell him. I'm really, I like Iguodala. Iguodala? Okay. I like Chris Mullen. I like that. Okay, Chris so Mullen. Chris Mullen was a part of a trio. Do you remember that trio's yeah, name? TMC. I like that. Perfect. Where are you guys from? Uh, we're from Vancouver. Awesome, awesome. Vancouver. So you guys flew in just for the game? We did. How was the culture inside? I don't know if you guys oh, know. Unreal. It was unreal. It was unreal. It was awesome. Intense. Intense? Oh my God, it was intense. Okay, so since you guys are from Canada, how are the Warriors fans treating you out here? Oh, they're great. Great? Yeah, yeah. they're really good. We got a lot of high they're... fives and congratulations, which is awesome. There's awesome. a little ribbing too. They were passionate. Yeah. But okay. It was good. Yeah, it was sure, friendly. Sure. Yeah. So um, there were a lot of injuries on the Warriors team. Clay Thompson just went out this game. Clay, um, Kevin Durant went out last game. Yeah. What are your thoughts on a healthy Warriors roster? You think it would have been more competitive? Oh, what yeah, are your thoughts? Percent. Yeah. Yeah? yeah, for sure. Who would have won? If you it, it, just a guess, just a guess. Who do you think? I know you guys. Were, I, know I don't you guys know, were but out. I think KD should come north next year. Okay, that's too much. That's a little too. <laughs> Who's your favorite Raptor uh, on the team right now? Oh, uh, Kawhi. 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 Okay. And King of the North, Freddie. Freddie. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, um, if you had some words to say to Kawhi to make him stay next season, what would you tell him right now? Oh, that, that uh, he's he's the king. He he's did, the king? Yeah, he did so much for us last year, and it's, uh, it'd be awesome to have him back. We, okay. we love him. Okay. We love him. It'll hurt to see him go. Sure. Sure. Anything you want to tell him? Canada loves you, Kawhi. <laughs> 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 all right, man, so what team are you repping tonight? Toronto. Toronto. Canada all the way. For sure, for sure. So where are you from? Calgary. How long have you been a Raptors fan? For the last five years. Last five years. Okay, okay. Were you in the game? Yeah. What was the energy like? I don't know if you know, but this is the last game in the stadium. They're moving to San Francisco. What was the energy like inside? You got to give the Warriors fan props. The energy was hype. Okay, so um, what was your favorite part about being in there? Favorite moment of the game? The closeout. The closeout? The last 30 seconds was so tense, but so worth it. For sure. So who's your favorite Raptor on the team right now? Siakam or Lowry? Lowry? Okay, for yeah. sure. So, um... That's awesome. That's awesome. McDavid? Hold on, hold on. The champs. The champs are here. The champs are here. Hell yeah, baby. Raptors, we did this. We created this. We own this moment. This is us. This is every fucking team from every city is here, is now, and this is what it's all about. Were you in the game tonight? Were you inside? I was inside. Man. How was the energy inside, man? The energy was unbelievable. Twice as much because you know what? We actually got scammed for our first set of tickets. And why was that? Because we went through some shady mo 